Hi everyone, welcome back to Smarta. With Smarta. Today we're here to do the answers to the subtract 10 part two. Before we do that, we're going to do our shout outs. Um, one of the things we've been talking a lot about is being balanced, about doing a little bit of schoolwork and then doing some other things to keep your life interesting and active and all and of those normal. things and normal. So um, someone I'm gonna shout out for that is Maddie. Maddie has been sending me lots of schoolwork, her social studies, her math, and all that other stuff, but she's also sending me notes and pictures telling me she's doing things like making a Mother's Day gift for her nice. mom. Very nice. Going on walks by the creek. She saw an owl. Uh, she's even doing some baking. So that's like a variety of things, some kind of crafty things, nature things, active things to keep your nice. life balanced. That's really good, Maddie. Good job, Maddie. My shout out goes to Avery. And every shout out has to do around social studies. She was doing her Saskatchewan social studies project. She finished it. She sent me a picture of it. And then in the interesting facts, I can still hear myself reading it. And it says, Saskatchewan has more than 100,000 lakes. And my brain went, 100,000 lakes? Well, Avery must have written the wrong number. And I went, hey, Mrs. Marta. I said, Avery says Saskatchewan has 100, over 100,000 lakes. And she and goes, I what? said. That can't be right. I'm going to look on the Google. And I did look on the Google. And what did it say? It said Saskatchewan has more than 100,000 likes. So Avery, thanks for teaching us something and great research. That is a really cool fact. Who knew that Saskatchewan had over 100,000 likes? Today, you Avery, did. you are the master. <laughs> All right, let's go on to our jokes. My joke first. What did one wall say to the other wall? What? Meet you in the corner. <laughs> As they will. <laughs> Mrs. Mars laughing at her own jokes. I know. I think my jokes are hilarious. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Mars' other joke. <laughs> how does a train eat? Hmm. How does a train eat, Mr. Marta? It goes choo choo. <laughs> <laughs> I included that one just so I could hear Mr. Marta go. Do it again. <laughs> choo choo. <laughs> okay, meet us over at the easel. I'm so not you... sure why I kicked my head back hey. like a okay. wolf. But... Okay, that's enough. It's a wolf train. That's enough. <laughs> meet us over at the easel so we can look at the answers. All right, we're back to do the answers for the subtract 10 part two. So I'm gonna go pretty quickly. I'm not gonna go as slow as we did in the lesson. You've already got your answers on the paper. If you don't, pause the video and do them because this is where we're checking your work, not where I'm just telling you the answers. All right, starting with the review, I have 60 take away 30 is same as six tens take away three tens. I know six take away three is three just like three plus three is six, and three tens is 30. Give yourself a check mark because I know you got that one right. All right, we're on to 100 minus 20. That's like 10 tens minus two tens. And I know that 10 take away two leaves me with eight. So I have eight tens, which is 80. All right, give yourself a check mark. Yes, Mr. Murda. And I love it how, again, our brains are different. You like to do counting down by tens, whereas everyone already knows I change that to addition and I'm rock and roll that way. Yeah, Mr. Marta's thinking what plus 20 equals 100. Either way works. Whichever works for you, do it that way. All right, question C. I have eight tens, take away five tens, and no equal line. I hope you put equal lines. Eight tens take away five tens. I'm imagining the 10 frame with eight on it. I take five away. I have three tens left. Three tens is 30. Give yourself a check mark for that one. Am I, when I get that close, am I getting too close? No, nope? okay. Question D is nine tens take away one ten. If I have nine and I just take away one, it's like counting backwards. So nine take away one is eight. And it's nine tens, so I have to make sure that I do that. All right, oh, look at that. 30, 80, 30, 80, I've made a repeating pattern. Okay, give yourselves check marks. We're on to the practice. This gets a little bit harder. We have 47, take away 20. So I imagine I have 47 cookies, and I took 20 away to give to you wonderful students because there's 20 or 21 kids at school. 47, take away 20. So. I think four tens take away two tens is two and seven 
take away nothing is 7. Then I go on to question B. 68, take away 50. Maybe I have $68 and I need to take 50 away to pay Mr. Marta for cooking my dinner. So I go 6 tens, take away 5 tens is 1 ten, and 8 ones, take away nothing, is 8. So I have 18. And Mr. Marta, you're going to tell me if I make a mistake, right? But I'm also curious, am I getting paid for making dinner? This is imaginary. Oh. You are not getting paid for making dinner. All right. Okay, here we are. 83, take away 30. So I go 8 tens, take away 3 tens, is 5. And then 3, take away 0, is 3. 53. Give yourself a check mark. You've already got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 check marks. Look at you go. All right. Last grade 2 question. 36 take away 30. This one is interesting. I have three tens, take away three tens. I am not going to put a zero there. Imagine I have 36 on the cards and I take 30 away. I just have six left and I'm not going to write it like this. Well, you could if you wanted to. You could, but it's not really the right way to do it. You're just going to write six. Okay, give yourself a check mark if you put the zero in there. Just scribble it out. This is just practice, right? Okay, we're on to challenge. Let's see who stretched their brain. Everybody else is just kind of hanging around and watching, maybe thinking they might stretch their brain even if they didn't try it. I have 245, take away 20. So imagine 245 kids were at the assembly, one class left, so 20 kids left. I have 200 and no hundreds. So I know that's going to be still in the 200s. Then I have 45, take away 20. Four tens, take away two tens is two. Five ones, take away nothing is five. There are 225 kids left there in that assembly. All right. Now I have 684, take away 230. What would I have that 684? I might have 684 quarters in my jar where I collect change, in my Hulk piggy bank, which Mr. Marta broke. I might have 684 quarters in there. I have to do the laundry and Mr. Marta changes his clothes all the time, so I need 230 quarters. So I have six hundreds take away two hundreds, which is four hundreds. Then I have eight tens take away three tens, which is five tens. And I have four ones take away nothing. There are 454 quarters left in my Hulk piggy bank for when I have to do laundry tomorrow. That's how much laundry we do at our house. All right. Super incredibly, terrifically difficult question. That reminds me of that book. The no good, very bad, terrible, it's terrible, horrible. horrible, no good, very bad day. Instead of being bad, it's good. Okay. 782 take away 430. So 700 take away 400 is three hundreds. Eight tens take away three tens is five. Two ones take away zero ones is two. Am I right, Mr. Marta? You are. Whew. All right. 831 take away 520. I have eight tens take away five ten, not tens. I'm not right this time. I have eight hundreds, take away five hundreds, which is three hundreds. Then I have three tens, take away two tens, which is one ten. And I have one one and zero, which leaves me with one, 311. So have a look at your work. See if you need to fix any of it up. If you need to do more practice, have your mom or dad make some more questions or you make some more questions for yourself. And you made it to the end. And we teach you all these strategies so you have lots of options. Mrs. Marta likes using the tens, and you know I changed all of those to addition questions. Right. You, you do what works for you as long as you get the right answer. And now it's Rexy. Rexy. Oh, let's do it like that. And now it's, it's Rexy. Rexy. Oh, that was a good dino voice. Okay, you made it to the end. Here comes Rexy's joke. 
Which kind of dinosaur has the best vocabulary? Vocabulary、It、means they know the most words. What dinosaur? A thesaurus. <laughs> a thesaurus is a book that tells you words that mean the same thing. So if you look up the word "good," it shows you all the words that mean "good," like wonderful, great, fantastic, terrific,、Tremendous. fabulous, amazing, awesome, excellent. That's what a thesaurus is. Get it? Let's try it again. Which dinosaur has the best vocabulary? Which one? A thesaurus.